my book on The Maze Runner by James Dashing. In The Maze Runner, Thomas wakes up in a metal box with no memory of who he is. He only remembers his name. Large doors open overhead, revealing a community of boys, all living in a mysterious place with very high walls. The place is called the Glade. Outside the Glade and beyond the walls is a massive maze populated with monsters known as Grievers. Thomas learns that if a Grievous stings you, you will go through a process known as the Changing, which is quite traumatic. Thomas meets the leader of the Glade, Albie, and his second-in-command, Newt. There is also Chuck, who becomes as Thomas's friends, even though he's the disgrace of the town or the Green. Gally is the main antagonist who is suspicious of Thomas. Mino is the leader of the runners or the gladers who go out into the maze and attempt to map it out and find a way out. James Nashner is an American writer of fiction. Born November 26, 1972 in Georgia, now living in Rocky Mountains, he has written over nine fiction-based books. When James was very young, after he fell in love with Judy Bloom books, he decided to become a writer. During his childhood, he would read books like Narnia, Lord of the Rings, and Hardy Boys to inspire him to write. The book The Maze Runner was heavily influenced by Ender's Game and The Lord of the Flies. Whenever James has a tough time writing, he takes a break to read a book or watch a movie to let the ideas flow through his mind. Other books by Jasner include The Scorched Trials, The Death Gear, and The Kill Order. What does the Maze Runner title mean to me? Throughout the book, Thomas is dealing with conflict with the other people in the maze. He then decides to be a runner to find a way out of the glade. What the Maze Runner means to me is that Thomas has gone through so much that he thinks being a runner is the only way out. In the maze run, there's loads of conflict between Thomas and Galley. Galley, being the leader of the Billards, Billards distru distrusts Thomas immensely and thinks he is a spy for Wicked or World in Catastrophic Kill Zone Experiment Department. Galley tells him that he better decide quickly on who to become friends with and who to be enemies with. There's also lots of examples of foreshadowing in the book. One example is when Teresa, the first lady to arrive at the Glade after Thomas, came out to the elevator seemingly dead and came conscious for a second and said, Everything is going to change. She was in a coma and woke up only to say that, so it is obviously a foreshadow of something bad to come. Another example is when Thomas first arrives at the Glade and everyone is calling him Greeny. This foreshadows that he will be the worst treated in the Glade. Thomas in the maze runner is like people in the real world. He is very athletic and he is very intelligent. He always questions everything to make sure he has the right idea of what to do next. In the real world, we do see people like this. Many people with high grades will have lots of questions as a teacher while someone who is athletic is very fast and very strong. Chuck, who is Thomas's best friend in the Glade, is way different from Thomas. He just wants to fit in and make friends. In the real world, all teenagers are like this. Sometimes they go out of their way to fit in and be like everyone else when you should just be yourself and be happy with it. The Maze Runner is a fast-paced adventure in a very dark and pretty violent post-apocalyptic world. It is a good sci-fi series that draws you right in from the start. Thirty teenage boys trapped in the center of a maze with no idea as to where they are and why. Worst of all, none of the boys have any memories of their life before they got there. I personally would give the Maze Runner five stars. There's action around every corner, and you're on the edge of your seat wondering what's going to happen next. I would say the target audience would be young teens. It has vivid language for young kids, but it doesn't have enough language for adults. If you are a young teen who loves sci-fi books, then this is the book for you.